Hello students, this is the continuation of the first video. In the first video, we had seen up to uh, page number three, the first paragraph. So we will start the next from this very page number, that is page number uh, three. So we were dealing with the chapter, A Triumph of Surgery, written by James Heriot. So let us continue the story. At the surgery, the household dogs surged round me. Tricky looked down at the noisy bag with dull eyes and when put down, lay motionless on the carpet. The other dogs, after sniffing round him for a few seconds, decided he was an uninteresting object and ignored him. So in the first video, we had seen the narrator took the dog and had brought to the a surgery so we all know what is a surgery surgery means a place where a doctor or a veterinary doctor treats the patients okay so tricky was brought there so at the surgery the household dogs the dogs okay which were there in the surgery they surge around him the surge means they move suddenly or powerfully forward or upward towards the narrator so tricky looked down why why uh, the tricky looked down because tricky the narrator was holding that uh, tricky okay so tricky looked down at the noisy bag noisy bag means it is referred to the dogs they were very noisy they were barking and they were making lots of noises so that is why here the word noisy bag is used so tricky looked down at them with his dull eyes and when this tricky was put down he lay motionless he did not move he doesn't have any energy he lay motionless on the uh, carpet and the other dogs what they did they came closer to him and they sniffed around him for a few seconds but since he was motionless they were they found him an interesting object and they ignored him the other dogs okay they went away from uh, tricky I made up a bed for him in a warm, loose box next to the one where the other dog slept. For two days, I kept an eye on him, giving him no food but plenty of water. At the end of the second day, he started to show some interest in his surroundings, and on the third, he began to whimper when he heard the dogs in the yard. So the narrator made up a bed for him in a warm, loose box next to the one where the other dogs slept. So for two days, the narrator kept an eye on him. He kept on watching, okay, that uh, tricky. And he gave him no food but plenty of water. So at the end of the second day, this tricky, he started to show some interest in his surroundings. And on the third day, he began to whimper. Whimper means he gave out a loud, uh, a very low sound, okay, a low sound when he heard the dogs in the yard. This means he was improved, okay, he was improving from his health condition. When I opened the door, Tricky trotted out and was immediately <clears throat> engulfed by Joe, the greyhound, and his friends. After rolling him over and thoroughly inspecting him, the dogs moved off down the garden. <clears throat> Tricky followed them, rolling slightly with his surplus of fate. So when the narrator opened the door, Tricky trotted. Trotted means that uh, this Tricky ran at a very... Uh, <clears throat> moderate base with short steps still he was very weak right but uh, he has improved little so when the narrator opened the door tricky he walked out uh, with a short steps and he was immediately uh, circled around by uh, the greyhound the name of the dog is joe that is the greyhound and his friends friends means the other dogs they all encircled him okay and uh, af uh, and they went out okay down the uh, garden and they played uh, together so they rolled him okay and they inspected him they sniffed him okay and all the dogs along with the tricky they move off down the uh, garden and tricky also he followed them and he was rolling slightly why he was rolling slightly because he was very uh, his body was overfed okay he he was very uh, he was overweight and so he was rolling slightly okay because of his surplus uh, fate 
Later that day, I was present at feeding time. I watched while Dresden slopped the food into the bowls. There was the usual headlong rush followed by the sounds of high speed eating. Every dog knew that if he fell behind the others, he was liable to have some competition for the last part of his meal. Now, later that day, this narrator, he says that he was uh, present at the feeding time when uh, the dogs were fitted okay he was present and he watched uh, this Tristan Tristan is the name of a dog okay so he watched while Tristan slopped the food into the uh, bowls so while this Tristan was having his food okay having his food he slopped the food that means hurriedly okay very hurriedly he ate the food and some of the food was sp uh, were spilled uh, over the edge of the container so this is what happened when they hurriedly have the food the dog okay some uh, portion of food okay it fell it fell down okay or it you know it spilled over the the edge of the uh, container so he was there the narrator was there and he was uh, watching and he saw all the dogs okay the dogs they were in a they were uh, producing okay producing sounds of high speed eating and also they were rushing okay they were rushing and they were uh, trying to finish up their uh, food because all the dogs they knew that if <clears throat> they eat slowly then what will happen the last meal okay his uh, last part of meal will become a competition because others the the other dogs too so are eating fastly okay they will finish up their meals and what they will do they will go and try to eat the other uh, meals okay so it will become a competition so uh, whoever okay it may be okay if the dog eats slowly okay then his meal will become a part of a, a competition. Other will try to come and uh, get his uh, meal. So everyone knows that. So the dog, okay, as soon as they were uh, being, uh, they were uh, fed, okay, they were given the food, they ate, they rushed, okay, they rushed and they produce such a high sound, okay, and they eat very uh, fast without leaving behind. Okay, now let us see the next. When they had finished, Tricky took a walk around the shining bowls, licking casually inside one or two of them. Next day, an extra ball was put out for him and I was pleased to see him jostling his way towards it. So when they had finished what this Tricky did, Tricky, he took a walk. <clears throat> Still, Tricky was very weak, okay? So Tricky took a walk around the shining bowls, the bowls, okay, where the dogs, the other dogs had uh, taken uh, their food, okay? He went nearby it and he started licking, okay? Licking casually inside one or two of them, one or two of the bowls, okay? So this, the, the narrator saw that one and he found out that this Tricky, now he needs food. He wanted to have food, which means he, he was improving. So next day, the narrator put an extra ball for uh, Tricky also. And he was very happy to see that this very Tricky uh, was jostling his way towards that ball. He pushed roughly okay, his way towards the uh, ball. So seeing this, the narrator was very happy. From then on, his progress was rapid. He had no medicinal treatment of any kind, but all day he ran about with the dogs, joining in their friendly uh, scrimmages. <clears throat> he discovered the joys of being bowled over, tramped on, and squashed every few minutes. He became an accepted member of the king, an unlikely, silky little object among the shaky crew, fighting like a tiger for his share at mealtimes and hunting raids in the old hen house at night. He had never had such a time in his life. So from then on, okay, on that day onwards, his progress was rapid. Rapid means very fast, very quickly he was recovering. So he had no medicinal treatment. The doctor did not give any medicinal treatment, just a strict diet. Okay, so no medicinal treatment of any kind, but all day what he do it was that um, this tricky, he ran about with the other dogs, he joined them in the friendly fights, scrimmages means fights, <clears throat> the friendly fights, and he also, the narrator also says that he discovered the dog, okay, this tricky discovered the joys of being bowled over. 
they uh, used to have a friendly fight and the other dogs okay they will uh, push him slightly okay and he will roll okay so they will bolt over him and some uh, so they will put uh, their legs on his body okay they will tramp on and they will squash okay they will make him flat okay every few few minutes okay this is a friendly fight okay in between the or among the dogs so this is what Dricky had enjoyed okay during his stay in the uh, surgery so he became an accepted member of the king king means uh, the dogs okay the dogs which were present there you can see in the picture also so uh, he became a part a member of the uh, king he was a silky little object whereas the other crew crew means the other dogs they had a rough fur okay their furs were very rough whereas this tricky you can see in the picture in the middle the middle one is the uh, tricky okay so tricky has got a very silky uh, fur so from here also we can understand how nicely okay he was uh, looked after by mrs pamphrey okay so this is why his hair was very uh, silky and whereas the others okay it was a shaky shaky means rough okay so this tricky along with the other dogs they fought like a tiger okay for his share uh, at mealtimes and uh, went for hunting raids in the old hen house even at night okay so he had never had such a time in his life so tricky was very happy um, enjoying with the uh, company of the other dogs in the uh, surgery now let us see the next all the while mrs pamphrey hovered anxiously in the background ringing a dozen times a day for the latest bulletins i thought the questions about whether his cautions were being turned regularly or his curry got worn according to the weather but i was able to tell her that the little fellow was out of danger and convulsing rapidly so all the while this mrs pomfrey okay he waited anxiously in the background okay background ringing okay calling this doctor for a thousand times a day okay for the latest bulletins latest bulletins bulletins means news okay she was very worried about tricky and we had seen her crying okay right so she was very much worried about tricky and she wanted to get the news how tricky is doing whether he is improving or not recovering or not okay she wanted to know so she rang okay those times a day okay to get the news about a uh, tricky so the narrator torch torch means avoided the narrator avoided some of her questions like uh, this whenever she calls the doctor okay she always asks a question like whether the tricky cautions were being turned regularly whether uh, whether his god were worn according to the weather okay she keeps on asking such uh, questions that the narrator uh, avoided okay the narrator did not answer those questions but the narrator uh, told to mrs pomfrey that is the mistress okay the owner of tricky that this little fellow that is tricky was out of danger and convulsing rapidly convulsing means recovering his health okay uh, and gaining strength okay uh, from the after the illness okay rapidly means very fastly or very quickly okay so this is what uh, the narrator or the doctor replied to the mistress the word convulsing seemed to do something to mrs pamphrey she started to bring round fresh eggs two dozen at a time to build up tricky strength for a happy period my partners and i had two eggs each for breakfast but when the bottles of wine began to arrive the real possibilities of the situation began to dawn on the household it was to enrich tricky's blood lunch became a ceremonial occasion with two glasses of wine before and several during the meal so when the doctor used the word convulsing this word convulsing seemed to do something to mrs pamphrey mrs pamphrey was very happy to know that tricky was recovering okay tricky was recovering his health so she thought that okay she has to go and give something in order to uh, build up tricky's strength so what she did she started to bring round fresh eggs two dozen at a time okay so she has brought that one for the for tricky but the doctor did not give all these eggs to tricky because he is a doctor and he knows that the problem okay the problem came all because of this overfeeding right so she he did not give the the eggs to uh, tricky 
So what uh, the doctor did was that the doctor along with his partners, they had two two eggs each for a breakfast. And later on, Mrs. Pomfrey also brought bottles of wine, okay, in order to enrich Tricky's blood. But this wine was not given to Tricky, but the, he and the partners, okay, they drank, okay. So lunch became a ceremonial occasion. Like with two classes of wine before and several during the meal. So they enjoyed the eggs and also the uh, wine. It was not given to the uh, to the small talk or the tricky. Okay, because it is all these eggs okay, and wines are not good for tricky. He has been suffering all because of this. Okay, so the doctor avoided all this uh, to, uh, for uh, tricky. But and he and his partner, they had all this. Now, let us see the next. We could hardly believe it when the brandy came to put a final age on Tricky's constitution. For a few nights, the fine spirit was rolled around, inhaled and reverently drunk. They were days of deep content. Starting well with the extra egg in the morning, improved and sustained by the midday wine and finishing luxuriously round the fire with the brandy. So later on, Mrs. Pumphrey also brought brandy, okay, brandy, and uh, in order to improve Dricky's um, health condition, okay. So for a few nights, okay, the fine spirit was rolled around, which means they they gathered together they smelled that uh, brandy and they drank okay they drank the uh, brandy so they were in deep satisfaction they were very happy okay and they started getting um, they started getting extra egg in the morning okay they improved okay and they sustained their midday wine okay by the midday wine and also they enjoyed the brandy uh, sitting around the uh, fire so uh, the eggs okay the the eggs again wine again brandy all this okay which were brought by mrs Pumphrey for tricky were being enjoyed by the doctor and uh, his uh, partners okay so it was a temptation to keep tricky on as a permanent case but i knew mrs Pumphrey was suffering and after a fortnight i felt compelled to phone and tell her that the little dog had recovered and was awaiting collection so it was a temptation to keep Tricky as a permanent case. But the doctor knows that Mrs. Pumphrey was also suffering. Suffering because she, she was missing this uh, talk. Okay? Uh, earlier when the dog was brought in the surgery, uh, she was also crying. right? So she has lots of concern for the dog. So Pumphrey, okay, Mrs. Pumphrey was suffering. And after a fortnight, what he, uh, the doctor did was that the doctor uh, was compelled to phone, okay, to, phone uh, to call her and to tell her to come in. Um, take that uh, tricky away from the surgery because the dog had already recovered <clears throat> so he made a call okay so within minutes about 30 feet of gleaming black metal threw up outside the surgery the chauffeur opened the door and i could just make out the figure of mrs pomfrey almost lost in the interior her hands were tightly clasped in front of her her lips trembled Oh, Mr. Harriot, do tell me the truth. Is it really better? Okay, so within, within a few minutes, a car came, okay? And the car was a very long car, okay? A very shining car. About 30 feet of a shining black metal. Black metal means a car which is of black in color, okay? So came outside, okay? Came and stopped outside the surgery. And there, the chauffeur. The chauffeur is the driver, okay? The driver opened the door and... Mrs. Pomfrey was sitting there, okay, uh, sitting there. Her hands were tightly clasped in front of her and her lips were trembling. Why, why was her lips trembling? Because she was still worried. She wanted to know whether Tricky has fully recovered or not or what is, what was the condition of that uh, Tricky. So she called out, oh, Mr. Harriot, do tell me the truth. Is he really better? So she started, she again asked to the doctor whether she, uh, whether Tricky has really um recovered or not or whether he is really uh, better feeling better or not you can see in the picture now the doctor replied yes he is fine there is no need for you to get out of the car i'll go and fetch him so the doctor told him that yes tricky has fully recovered okay and she she need not to come out from the car he will go and 
bring him. Fetch him means bring, okay, bring the tricky to her. I walked through the house into the garden. A mass of dogs was hurtling round and round the lawn, and in their midst, ears flapping, tail waving, was a little golden figure of tricky. In two weeks, he had been transformed into a late, hard muzzled animal. He was keeping up well with the back, straightening out in great bounds, his chase almost brushing the ground. So then uh, the narrator walked through the house into the garden in order to bring the tricky. And at that time, he saw a group of dogs. OK, they were moving round. OK, moving very fast round and round the lawn. OK, and in the middle, there was tricky. His ears were flapping. His tails were waving. OK, a little golden figure, a little golden color. OK, the tricky was in, in, in the middle of those dogs. OK, and they were enjoying. Now, in two weeks, OK, this dog has transformed into a lead lead means a flexible hard muzzled animal when he was brought he was over uh, overweight right he could not move uh, his eyes were red in color uh, again um, eyes nose were watery right he could not move he doesn't have any energy but within two weeks he has recovered the tricky has been transformed into a lead means flexible flexible hard muzzled animal and he was completely fine okay he was completely uh, fine so he was keeping up well with the back stretching out in great bounds great bounds means um, leaping movement they were jumping okay he was jumping his trace almost brushing the ground so he was healthy so the i carried him back along the passage to the front of the house the chauffeur was still holding the car door open and when tricky so his mistress he took off from my he took off from my arms in a tremendous sleep and sailed into mrs Bramfrey's lap she gave a startled oh and then had to defend herself as he swarmed over her licking her face and barking so the narrator carried him carried tricky back along the passage to the front of the house where the guard was awaiting so the chauffeur the driver was still holding the guard door open and tricky okay this tricky he was in the arms of uh, this narrator but as soon as tricky saw his mistress he was so happy that he took off he jumped off from the narrator's arms okay in a tremendous sleep in a great amount of okay he jumped out and he went into mrs pomfrey's lap Okay, he jumped onto Mrs. Bumfrey's lap, lap and she gave a startle. She cried, okay, she cried out, okay, oh, okay, and then he had to defend, uh, and then had to defend herself. She had to defend herself because this uh, dog was out of happy, okay, happiness or out of joy. The dog was licking her face, okay, and barking. So she was trying to defend herself. During the excitement, I helped the chauffeur to bring out the beds, doys, cautions, scouts, and balls, none of which had been used. As the car moved away, Mrs. Pomfrey leaned out of the window. Tears shone in her eyes, her lips trembled. So during this excitement in between the uh, the tricky and the lady, that is the mistress, Mrs. Pomfrey, he, the narrator, and the, and the driver, okay, they brought out the beds, toys, cautions, whatever, okay, uh, they ha uh, he has brought, okay, uh, when he brought that tricky, he he and the driver, they brought out all the uh, beds, toys, cautions, cots, and bowls. And here the narrator says that all this, none of this were used. Okay, it was just kept like that. None of these were used. Even the eggs, the wine, the brandy, all these were not used for a uh, tricky. Okay, so they uh, put inside, okay, they put it in the agar. Uh, and as the gar moved away, Mrs. Pomfrey, he leaned out of the window. And tears were tears shone in her eyes. She was crying out of happiness, okay, tears of joy, and her lips were trembling. And he, uh, she said, when she was about to move, okay, she said, "Oh, Mister Harriet," she cried out, and she says, "How can I ever thank you? This is a triumph of surgery." So she says that, "How can I thank you? You have done a great thing for me, okay? My dog has recovered, and so this is a triumph of surgery. This is a victory of the." Surgery. Surgery means the hospital, the veterinary hospital. Your veterinary hospital has proved, okay, has proved a, a victory, has won, okay, has won because this uh, tricky 
tricky was so ill okay and within few okay days that is 15 days okay uh, within two weeks uh, he has fully recovered and so she was very thankful okay and she was uh, she was very thankful and she told to the narrator that this is a, a triumph of surgery a success of the a surgery a success of the veterinary hospital so even you can see the topic okay of this lesson th uh, that is the triumph of surgery triumph means success or victory surgery means i have already told you that is a veterinary hospital where the animals are brought okay and uh, brought for a treatment okay they are being looked after so this is the explanation of the uh, story the first chapter from the footprints without uh, feet uh, a triumph of surgery written by uh, james harriet Thank you, students.